Hi everybody and welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. We've all used strike indicators at some time, be it on still waters or rivers. They come in many forms. You can have a, a standard bung, a thingy me bob, um, New Zealand strike indicators made with wool. But when I'm nymphing, I don't use check leaders or euro leaders. I use a thing called a coil. It's absolutely fantastic. It goes by the name, I believe, a French or Spanish leader. And the best thing about it is, it's at a given length once it's going through the water. But when something takes it, it gives you a visual indication by extending. Uh, it's a spring, basically. And when the spring extends, there's something on it. And I'm going to take you through here how to make one. To make the coil, you need a nice, bright mono, roughly about 30 pounds in strength. I'm saying it's 30 pounds because you need to have some thickness on it so that once it's extended, it will go back to a coil. Anything less than that, and you might find that it won't have the memory within the line to return to its natural shape. So what we do now, we've got a skewer stick and mono, and we tape it off near the end. Make sure you've got enough mono on the end so you can make a loop connection or that you can put a tippet ring on. And then you simply wind the mono around the stick between 15 and 20 times is what I usually do. Keeping it tight against each other. When you widen it on, it's slack. But then put it up with it against each other so it's a tight coil. Once you've done that, you then just simply tape off the remaining mono at the bottom. As you can see, winding it on two or three turns, pushing it up, packing it in, keeping it tight. It's got to be tight because you're going to boil it after this. And if you boil it and it's slack, it'll just uncoil like an uncoil spring. And once you've completed that, this is what it should look like. Nice stick, two nice tag ends and a tight coil of mono around the skewer stick. Now we place the stick and the mono into boiling hot water for about four or five minutes. Using your forceps that's in your fishing pack, reach in and take out the stick from the boiling water. And be careful not to splash yourself, gentlemen. Once it's out, put it on some kitchen roll and then just dab it dry. Once it's dry, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna open your fridge and we're gonna put it inside your freezer section. And it'll remain there for about an hour. After about an hour, take out the stick and just leave it on some kitchen roll to thaw off because it might be frozen by this time so you don't want to be stripping it down whilst it's frozen so once it's defrosted gently cut away cellar tape and then slide off the mono from the wooden stick once it's off you'll see that the tag ends will need slightly straightening that is your spring all you simply do now is attach a tippet to each end Put it in your bag and you're ready to go and the best thing about this it is a sight indicator as it's going through the water if a fish takes it the spring will extend if not it'll keep its natural shape if you use the other type of leaders the euro the check you have to wait for that to either go static or be pulled under the water this is a brilliant visual indication that something has taken your flies works for me so i hope it works for you so again thanks very much for watching hopefully going to get out to some uh, fishing in the near future when mr johnson decides we can all go so until then look after yourselves until my next video thanks very much for watching